If a hard drive is connected but does not show in my computer, there's a very good chance that the drive should be initialized, especially with a refurbished or sometimes a new hard drive. This video is the short version of how to do that. If you're not familiar with working on computers, you might be better off with the full version, and there's the link. Initializing a hard drive is done in the Computer Management Console. There are several ways to open that, but I think by far the easiest way is to right-click my computer, or computer, whichever you have, and in the context menu that appears, click Manage. As simple as that, you're there. This is the Computer Management Console maximized in the List view, and no big surprise, we're interested in the Disk Management item. Click that, and depending on your version of Windows, you might or might not get the Initialize and Convert wizard, which in this case is not used, so if you have it, cancel it away. The problem is obvious now. Windows already has the hard drive marked as a problem, but the fix won't take long. Right-click in the gray area where the drive, which Windows calls a disk, is identified, and in the menu that appears, click Initialize. As usual, there's an Are You Sure dialog. OK that. This is a real-time view. Initializing the hard drive, or disk, takes very little time, and that part of the job is done. But the drive you initialized, or disk, still must be set up so Windows can use it, and that means a partition and format, or in Windows 7, a new simple volume. This video is not going to go through that, because this is the Geek version. If your partitioning skills are rusty, please take a look at the full version of this video. But, here's a memory jogger. Click to create a new partition, as you see here, or in Windows 7, click to create a new simple volume. In the wizard that opens, accept the defaults offered until you come to the Format Partition page. On that page, Command a quick format instead of a full format. A quick format is all that's needed, and it takes much less time. Then continue to accept the default values the wizard offers, and you're soon done. A small hard drive will be ready in only a couple of minutes. A terabyte drive will take several minutes, but still not any great length of time. Hard drives do go bad, but not as often as some people believe. So if a new or used hard drive is not recognized by Windows, please don't do anything hasty. Check it out first. You might be interested in the full version of this video, which shows additionally how to clear everything off a hard drive, and goes through a partition and format step by step. I hope this video has been of some use to you, and thanks for watching.